Eight cylinders, eight series, all fun. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And this is Modern Motoring. Okay, Jay. Okay. It's a beautiful autumn day. This is true. Unseasonably warm. Also true. We are driving a 2023 BMW M850i. Well, technically you, but still true. Yeah. It's a flagship, by mm. the way, Cabriolet. Okay. I think we need to put the top down. I agree. Now you can do it in motion. You got to be 50 kilometers an hour or under. Which I've, I've very carefully curated for you right here. Okay, so it's going to get loud and... <laughs> and you won't be able to hear us for a minute, probably. Maybe. We'll just keep talking and see how good our road <laughs> microphones are. We are not sponsored by... You're going to be see the big whoosh right... Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Now, you have to stay at 50 the whole time. You can't just start it below 50. Oh, the car starts getting very upset. Um, okay, there we because go. if you do, it will just stop. Mm -hmm. And then you're in all sorts of trouble because if you go fast. Anyways, 50 and under. Yeah. So it's refreshed for this year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try not to jump around too much. I'm also going to put the windows up. Here, I can take care of because, that. Uh, well, I suppose we should be heard a bit. And the windscreen is removable if you want to put rear passengers in. If you don't care for rear passengers, uh, keep it in like we did. But if you are car carting around people in a very small back seat, then you got to take it out and fit to the bag, goes in the trunk. So the biggest thing for me is a 12.3 inch screen mm. as far as everyday functionality. It's tweaked a little bit uh, design wise on the outside. Um, but let's get to the fun stuff. I said I'm not going to jump, but here we are, jumping all over the place. Yeah. So it's still their awesome 4.4 liter uh, V8, mm -hmm. and it sounds it sounds good in comfort mode, <laughs> um, as we've found out. It sounds even better in Sport and Sport Plus, uh, and it comes in at the very familiar 523 horsepower, 553 pound foot of torque through their eight-speed automatic transmission. The fun thing you found out: mm -hmm. rear wheel steering. Yes. And I th I felt it. The first day I had it, I'm like, this is a very long vehicle, and it it corners surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. And I I mentioned I feel it may have it, but yeah, yeah, good it job. Does. Um, it, not as dramatic as in the EQS that we reviewed recently, which I was don't. 10 degrees. Yes. I I feel this is four, like Probably just enough to get you yeah. to parallel park a little better than you uh, than, you, than you normally would. <laughs> So since we're inside, we'll kind of start focusing in on the inside. So the 12.3 inch screen, I don't really notice that much of a difference between that and the outgoing 10 inch screen. It still has their iDrive, which to me is perfect because it keeps me happy with the dial and it keeps you happy because you can actually reach over and touch it itself and That's play right. around with that. Yep. People are still upset that the tachometer is a quote unquote backwards. Mm -hmm. You sh Don't be upset, you shouldn't be upset. It still gets you all the information and it's just a different kind of symmetry. Um, this does have the little camera at the top of the dashboard, uh, which monitors your eyes to let you know if you're kind of drifting off or whatnot, which is kind of, I don't know, I think it's a good feature. Mm -hmm. The downside to that is for people like me who like the steering wheel very low, the top of the wheel doesn't go as low as I'd like it to because it will impede the camera if it does. If the top is down, be a little extra careful when you get into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, this is pretty sharp and it's pretty long. Mm. Um, we found we had to sort of like crouch our way in. Yeah, so it's a, uh, and it's a two door, so you have that benefit of the longer doors, but just be a little mindful. You can't just slide in as you would with the uh, rest of the vehicle. The upgraded blue insides. Oh, so beautiful. I normally don't like this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like give me black. I know you don't like black stuff because it's too much black on black on black. This is, almost perfect mm. almost and my tiny nitpick it with it nitpick up with it <laughs> nitpick with it is it's this nice dark blue mm -hmm. but it's also got gray stitching okay only because it's their flagship vehicle red oh i disagree That's, really I do. You, don't, you don't think red would look just completely pop no i i, really? I see where you're going with it mm. but i wouldn't i don't think i would appreciate the red on no? the blue no i think that the contrast of this with the matching color below the line mm, here, it's fair. really nice. All right, well, I like a little bit of color. Just, I wouldn't want this to be red. Then you can pay $300 in Canada for the extra <laughs> M Sport uh, seat belts. Well, maybe I would. There you go. Well, if I'm in for this kind of money for a flagship vehicle. There's no bad aspect of this engine or specifically it being placed here. Now, yes, it's in other vehicles. It was in the M550i that we had. It's in the X7, but mm -hmm. for this specific vehicle, the way it's planted, 
the dimensions of it. Um, you get so much power mm -hmm. right away, and I think it does a zero to 104-ish seconds for a vehicle of this size, width, and length. That's it's almost too much, but I think you're buying this for the sheer performance aspect of it. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody who wants to put out this kind of money is looking for this kind of performance. I think I'm just looking to find a stretch of road where we can actually unwind it a little bit and, and show off the sounds that it makes. Listen, <laughs> it's not right to nitpick it much at this vehicle. It's Fair. almost perfect. My only thing with it is, even with the rear wheel steering, I find it big. Now, big lengthwise or big width-wise? It's big in all like dimensions. All. I'm just going to pop it into Sport Plus here. Listen to the change. Oh, there we go. Can you hear that? You can hear that. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. And it's it's extra good when it's in uh, Sport Plus with the top down. We were we were driving through a neighborhood with it in Sport Plus, and Jay said, "Do you really have to do that?" <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's for research, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I would fully expect people to track this car. Mm. I don't know what kind of mods you'd make to it. Um, I guess there's mods to every car, but out of the box, mm -hmm. I would absolutely take this to the track. Not to beat anybody, but just to have a, a safe, responsible place to really open it up. Because that's the only place you could, really. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but as a regular, I don't want to say grocery getter because that's a little insulting to this car, but as an everyday vehicle, it still does well. Sure. We did a Costco run. Uh, I think my portion was 100 bucks, and yours was... A couple hundred. Yeah. And so 300 bucks of Costco stuff, keeping in mind the size of Costco stuff, mm -hmm. fit in the back seat and the trunk. We didn't really need to go to the back seat for that much. There was bread, so I didn't want to have it yeah. risk being squished, but you probably could fit a fair amount of things in there as far as what your daily life dictates for you. Now, your trunk area has sort of, like, because this is the cabrio, there's that section at the top right. that's reserved for the roof to come back in, so you have to slide things underneath that to make full use of the space. Like, there's you, not as much tall space as there would be in any other trunk. Right, like, I don't think one of my guitars could fit lengthwise, but right. that's what the back seat's for. Right. Um, cool things on the outside, are the lit up grill mm. and we'll throw some pictures up now that we took and some video when it was really foggy it's the last few days and uh, the beginning of november yeah. um morning noon and night mostly fog and you can really see it and the bmw laser lights look extra sharp and yes i know it's a refresh but most of the elements are still the same which i think is great i don't think anything needed to be done to this to enhance it i don't think anybody needs to hear us say that we prefer the the horizontal style of grill, even as big as it is on this car, only wouldn't, the vertical yeah. style. I'm happy it's not here, but if it were to be here, it wouldn't bother me no. at all. That up the and down, style? yeah, oh, wouldn't bother I, me. It would bother me. No, because I don't see the front of the car. I like this. Sorry, I would only see it when I walked up to it. For my for my walk up really? perception, I really? like the horizontal better. I do. It, so do I, but. If BMW said take this, but you have to have the vertical grill, <laughs> fine. S okay. Send two. Mm. In typical BMW fashion, which is fine, there's a bunch of options tacked on. Yeah. So we'll go through and we'll see which one of us would take which. Who's ready for another game of <laughs> Is It Worth It? <laughs> <laughs> so for the blue slash ivory interior yes. at $4,500. I'm taking that every uh, day. Ah, uh, you could have mine. Really? No, thank you. Oh, wow. No, uh, thank you. I'm, now this is the merino leather so there's different combinations and different color combinations and different leather qualities so my money is better spent on audio oh, no. than the well, interior sure fair but i i like i would get really? joy out of sitting down in this interior every day all right fair so next up is the bowers and wilkins diamond audio system for 4900 dollars. Yes. instant yes for me, absolute instant Not yes for me. Not only because the sound is so good, but these speakers are oh, they so they light beautiful. up, and it's, it's, so you can light them up white or the color for the rest of the ambient lighting on the inside. There's uh, a handful of them. Here's some more of that foggy night cutaway here. I'm show you. Oh, it's so it good. Like it, it looks it's so stunning. good. It's a work of automotive art. Dark optics package for $2,900. Gives you the M Sport brakes, gives you the- uh, In black in black yeah. it gives you your laser lights um, it gives you the high gloss uh, package as well and the m performance package and i think the shadow line lights shadow line lights in, right in addition to being laser lights so you 2900 bucks i'm skipping that i'm not big on blackout packages though so am i last one up is the premium package 
So for $47.50, are you taking the ventilated seats, the glass controls, the air collar, traffic jam assist, lane control, and a handful of other active uh, safety features in this vehicle? Okay, so here's why my answer is no. Oh, okay. I don't like ventilated seats. Fair. The air collar, I can take or leave. <gasps> I'm not, it doesn't. But it's built in air to your neck. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> right. I can wear a scarf. Fair. And, um, I don't like the way some of the safety features work in this car. The I tugs the, for the lane yeah, keep assist are really, really, really strong. strong. We were driving, uh, test driving this in an area where the roads were pretty narrow. Mm. And it was uncomfortable enough that I thought it was going to shove me over into a barrier or something. So I would oh. end up putting that off most of the time, in which case it's not worth paying the money up front, I think. The way this is spec as tested, 146650 dollars got to throw your taxes on and all that, but it's worth it. It's, it is. And, and, and if you want something like this car, be aware. Again, we've said this so many times recently, but these V8s are not long for this world. No, no, a very far competitor, but engine wise, is Jaguar F Type. Yeah. Because it's got that 500 V8. I would say the Lexus LC 500 is stacked side by side with this. I don't know which one I'd take. They're both delightfully loud and mm -hmm. fast and quick and, and just all sorts of luxurious. I don't think I'd take the Benz equivalent. Mm. Um, that, that, my two cents on it. Um, but for it's one- It's an easy choice for me. Oh? I'm taking this over all of that every day. Over the LC? Yeah. Actually, I would take this over the LC because of that frustrating trackpad. Right. That wraps it up for our 2023 BMW M850i. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's a wonderful place to be. We just cracked our 10,000 subscriber mark. So thanks, thanks, thanks for that. And we're on all the social platforms. We're pretty good about monitoring uh, comments and engagement and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you don't catch us here, definitely catch us on our social media channels. And uh, thanks for watching.